So I'm Grace McDonald, I'm 16, and I go to Ripperstone High School in Clitheroe. I'm Olivia Hurst, I'm 12 years old, and I also go to Ripperstone High School in Clitheroe. And we are both joined as the second Wally guys. And we're here to tell you how we got our Region President Award. Wally is a picturesque village in the River Valley. There is a growing population of 3,000 and its emblem is three fishes. There are many lovely places to visit in the village and surrounding area. So these are just like pictures of Wally before the actual flood. So at the top there's a viaduct with the river going underneath it and all the fields around there were flooded completely. And then in the bottom there's the Wally Abbey and it's also in the top corner. So on Boxing Day in 2015, the River Calder was running through Wally and Billington and it just flooded everywhere. And this was the biggest flood to hit Wally in over 100 years. And last night the flood was around 3.2 metres, which was uh, just above the first line. When the disaster happened, 263 homes were ruined and people were woken up and told to evacuate by the army at about 3am on Boxing Day. Lots of the farmland was destroyed and many farm animals drowned by the depth, depth and force of the water as they were dragged down the river. The river was 4.2 metres where it was supposed to be 0.32 metres to 0.53 metres. And some of the houses were flooded so deep that it touched the kitchen worktops. And not just the furniture were ruined, but the Christmas trees and all the presents. So this is when Wally was flooded. <coughs> so this was on Boxing Day. And yeah. then also the top one, which was where the bridge was in the first photos. Which is that one. People were rescued from the houses by boats, by the army and the fire services and they were having to get buckets to chuck the water out of the houses. So this is the normal height of the River Calder and then this is what it was like on Boxing Day, which was somebody's garden as well. So we both took sandwiches and drinks to homes where the area was flooded and we helped deliver food parcels. We also helped cleaning out houses which were more damaged than others. And Olivia, the week after, went to houses giving out candles and torches uh, in case the power went out again. My mum and I helped feed people in our local church. Donations had to be sorted and supplies organised in the village hall. Uh, so in the top, in the first two photos, it's where the guides gave the de dehumidifiers and the cleaning donations. <coughs> and two young girls wrote this letter to say thank you for all the help that we that we gave. And as it's now 2017, we, we have continued to help at tabletop sales, selling books, etc. There was also a local community coffee mornings to support our community. Because we helped out, we were secretly nominated by <laughs> <laughs> And we were extremely surprised and honoured to receive the first Region President Award. We are very proud of our achievement and it shows that people recognise community service. We also received an award for 50 hours of community service and giving up our Christmas from the Walling District Lions. At this moment there is a flood action group to help the community. And as well as this, the council have made a flood plan which is being put in place which the village has been told about soon. Walling and District Lions Club are continuing to support the community following the floods and we were in the village last night putting up flood defences as the river was close to flooding again. And who are these? <laughs> <laughs> For the group. And because we helped out, we got the award and we're really happy about it. Mm -hmm. This is the president for the Lions.
who's the president <laughs> of <laughs> the <laughs> We are very proud of our achievement and how our community pulled together. Thank you for listening and if you've got any questions, just let us know. So the president's award